uh, I came here two years ago, which was the first time, and I came with um, with a guy called Richard Diagua, who, who who made Closer to the Edge, the you know the Art of Man TT documentary, which was just phenomenal. So, you know, as we were, as we were walking through, he was this he was this kind of this god that had that had made this wonderful movie. So it was a great kind of sort of entrance into into the TT, and and I think like a lot of things, if you, for the first time you come here, you know, it gets into your blood, and all you want to do is come back. I mean, you of all people know that, you know. Yeah, yeah. But uh, and then watching the guys go around, I mean, it's it's just. It's, I mean, it's a brutal race, you know. Yeah. The seniors today, six laps, two hours. You, you know, it's funny, a lot of people say to you that when you go to TT the first time, it's going to blow your mind. It's, it's, that, that it's, it's, it's undescribable, the experience. Mm -hmm. And and, uh, and you go, yeah, we're sure, whatever, you know. But but um, we went down to Aggie's Leap down here. And, it, and it's amazing because cause to get to, to this lady's uh, little... Um, little place which is a gate with these concrete walls everywhere and then there's a there's a foot pavement with a with a curb that's about is about, about that high and 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 you know and the riders are going to bombing past it anyway so so you go through people's gardens you know you go through five or six gardens we walked through there was a couple eating their lunch in this one place you sort of go oh hi and they go oh hi and anyway so you end up in this girl's in this in this girl's um driveway and she gives you a pint of lager and you sit there and we're all chatting away and we're walking and someone says, okay, okay, here they come, here they come. And you hear this noise. And then they come down Bray Hill, around that little right-hander, you know, which looks like nothing, but when you're going fast. And they come up and then, and I swear to God, they came where you and I are, about this far away from you and I, comes John McGuinness on the back wheel, just scream past at 170, 180 miles an hour. <laughs> that was the first time. And I was like, I was in shock, absolute shock. I, my hand, everything was shaking. I, I, I couldn't believe. Yeah. what I'd just seen yeah. and, and but it's just I, I, I think you know yeah. it's just bonkers it's, it's great being a spectator as well here isn't it I mean you, I think, you I really think a lot do... more relaxing yeah. you know. <laughs> and if you don't mind me asking what is it about motorcycles that you love I think I don't know I mean I, th I think it, you know it's funny because my dad and, and his dad didn't never rode motorbikes my on my mum's side no one ever rode motorbikes and and I, I suppose I could, I, I could bring it all the way down to, I suppose, to my mate Tommy Rochford um, in Ireland, where, where I grew up. And he, he had a Mako, I think it was a Mako 400, I think it was. And, and those were the bikes in the day. And, and, and I convinced him, I was only tiny, I convinced him to give me a go on the motorbike. I heard this two-stroke engine, you know. And, and, uh, and, and I was too small to, to, to touch my feet in the ground, so he put me on the bike, stuck it in first gear, and he just pushed me off. And I went round this field a couple of times and then fell off. And then that was it. I was hooked for life. Yeah, yeah. But and, but I think when you when you travel on a motorcycle and you do long distances on a motorcycle and stuff, you go to other countries. I think it's an amazing um, it's an amazing vehicle to use. You, you, you know, you go through Africa and, and you know on the motorbike and you stop in these little villages and, and, and you're part of the environment. So you stop, you ask directions. You're, you're immediately part of the environment, and so people are immediately interested in who you are, where you're coming from, what's going, where you're going. You know all that kind of stuff, and if and if if you turn up in a in a, in a Land Rover or, or or a Jeep, you you stop and you have to get out of your environment into their environment. So you're already, you know, one removed already. So I I think that your experience on a motorcycle is much richer, and 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 that um, you know, and it's harder. You know, when it rains, it it rains. When it's really dusty, you really feel it. You know, yeah. Yeah. I, I I just love it. Yeah, yeah. Can't yeah, think no. of anything better. Thank you.